what it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one and only Ash Said It, Ash Said It dot com, Ash Said It dot com. Welcome back to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show, darlings. Yes, we are on the road back to the A Town. Okay, so I wasn't done filming, and we are still in Nashville filming this documentary that I can't really talk about yet. Mm. So, I want to talk about something uh, because I had a conversation with an individual on set, and it was quite enlightening for them because people look at me sometimes and will say, Oh my gosh, Ash, you're just so perfect. Oh my gosh, your life is just so together. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And they have no idea, like, nothing is perfect. No one is perfect. And I'll be the first on this platform and every platform to say, I've never stood up anywhere, sit on any platform, sit on anyone's uh, arena or medium. I've never said that I'm a perfect individual. I'm the perfect exemplary example of how it is to live perfectly and not make a mistake and not do wrong things and not just screw things up because guess what I've screwed up a lot of stuff in my day (laughs) I have screwed up so much I have screwed up I have messed people over I have gone through turmoil I've been through the ringer I absolutely would say do not follow Ash's example be better than Ash um (laughs) be better than Ash I'm not perfect I've never said anywhere that I was perfect so I it perplexes me that people look at me as the uh, the idealistic example of perfection because that that couldn't be any more wrong than when what it is because that's so completely incorrect completely completely incorrect and I just try to do the best that I can do just be better than you were yesterday I've made a lot of mistakes there are some things that I should have done differently in this life there are some things that I just wish had not gone down the way that they've gone down. I've fallen out with people. I have had to exit friendships. I've had to let people move on because sometimes you grow from friends. You do. You grow apart. Your interests are not the same. You're not hanging out in the same crowd. You're not going to the same events. You don't have the same things going on. And it's damn near impossible to keep that connection. So sometimes you've just got to let it go. And I've had to do that a couple of times in the last couple of years. And it's not been easy. It's difficult. It's very difficult, especially if these are people that you've known from your childhood. These are people that have been around you and your family and things of that nature. And it's not easy. It's not easy. But it is necessary in order for you to grow. And that's what I have taken from a lot of this experience and life lessons that I've gone through the last couple of years is you gotta let let go and let God. Now people that I've fallen out with in one aspect or another have shown their true colors and prior to that I would be the one to state oh no this person's having a bad day and blah 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 and woo dee woo and oh you know this person do it and I would make up excuses for their poor behavior their unsatisfactory behavior I would make up excuses for I would take up for them I would carry their issues on my back I was going to court I was picking up kids I was doing all of this stuff I was I was putting roofs over people's heads I was putting folks in bed like literally I was giving people furniture and these people they will take, 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 take until there's nothing left of you. They've not replenished you. And they continue to have this expectation of, oh, she's got to give. He's got to give. They've got to give to me. They have. Nobody owes you nothing in this life, okay? Nothing. Nobody owes you a doggone thing, okay? So get over yourself and stop it with the foolishness. Stop it with the foolishness, all right? Because it's not cute. Foolishness is not cute. Stop it. So, yeah. Some people, you know, you got to just kind of like leave them where they at. And there's no negative. There's no bad words. There's no bad anything. It's just you just leave that situation where it is. And you continue to grow. Because a lot of times people, regardless of age, they've never grown up. They've gone through 
uh, tumultuous situations, but they've never grown up. And so they could be older than you. They could be younger than you, but everyone needs to grow at some point, myself included. There have been times where I've had to stand back and, and reevaluate situations that I have peered as wrong. And I've had to grow from those situations. I don't beat myself up about it. I'm not going to sit up here and dwell on it until the day is done, gone the sun. But I've had to reflect back on those situations and be like, you know what? I could have handled that differently. You know what? That could have been done a different way. True enough. So true. But I'm not going to beat myself up about it. No. And when people come at me about stuff that happened 10, 20 years ago and woody woody with stuff that I don't even remember, I'm like, damn it, I was in high school 20 years ago, okay? No, I was in middle school, actually. No, I was in high school, 15 years. I was in high school. But regardless, you're bringing up old stuff that I don't even remember if I ate breakfast this morning, much less something that happened 20 years ago. So, no, I'm not focused on the past and these situations that woulda, coulda, shoulda happened. Mm, it is what it is but I don't know this was just a random little blur because (laughs) people think that I'm perfect for whatever reason and that's laughable because I'm less than I'm not even perfect if I were perfect I would have figured out a way to save my mom's life that would have been perfection right there that would have been something to uh, wake up with every single morning but I didn't I'm flawed I'm human and I'm just trying to make this thing do what it do. That's all it's about. It's just making making some magic happen. Trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Stretching it as much as I can. And just doing the best that I can do. So that's why I'm out with it, y'all. That's, that's really what it comes down to, babies. Yes. Now, if you haven't gotten your Girls Night Out tickets, I don't know what you're waiting for. You waiting for Girls Night Out? Girls Night Out is going to come. And it's going to come with a vengeance. All right? So if you haven't gotten... Your tickets to Girls Night Out. We are premiering the Ocean's 8 movie before it's released to the public. June the 7th, 2018, 7 p.m. Meet me at Studio Movie Grill, Marietta. Yes. Okay. Sandra Bullock will not be there. Rihanna will not be there. But Ash and Ace will. Shout out to my girl Ace of Base. That is my girl. Ace of Base. She always got my back. And I got hers. You know, that's what family do for family. So... I'm going to holler at y'all on the flip side. Keep doing what you do. Keep in mind anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face. You tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for. Doing this for the history books. Social media is nice, but real life, baby. Babies. What I tell you, real life is so much better. Oh, it's so much better. It's way better. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Deuces.